Who is the mysterious silhouette in Chapter 1121? In Chapter 1121, Oda reveals the key players in the final war, including a mysterious silhouette wielding a sword identical to Shanks and his father's. This character's presence among the 12 most important figures is significant. While a sword alone isn't conclusive proof, Oda is meticulous about design choices, knowing how they influence readers. The context of the silhouette suggests that this character is crucial and possibly related to Shanks, given the similarities in weaponry and importance. Intrigue deepens. What faction does this silhouette belong to? The spread in Chapter 1121 includes characters from various factions, but the mysterious figure stands out. If he's not aligned with the revolutionaries, marines, or Yonko, he could be another god's knight or an unaffiliated individual like Aokiji. Given his weapon and the thematic ties, it's likely he's a god's knight, potentially another Phi Garland. This character's inclusion hints at a deeper connection to Shanks, further supporting the theory of an evil sibling. Critical question, how does Oda's narrative control shape our perception? Oda's masterful storytelling involves carefully controlling the order of information. If we had known about Shang's celestial dragon heritage and his family's resemblance earlier, the theory of an evil twin wouldn't seem as outlandish. The order in which we received information influenced our acceptance of the narrative. If we had been introduced to the Phi Garland family and their traits first, the idea of an imposter would be more readily accepted. This highlights Oda's ability to manipulate narrative perception. Exploring possibilities, what if the missing scar is a deliberate clue? Revisiting the scene with this new context, the missing scar gains significance. If we had known about Shang's family resemblance to the existence of an evil sibling, the absence of the scar would be a major clue. The skepticism towards the evil twin theory stems from the order of reveals. With the right sequence of information, the missing scar would lead us to suspect an imposter much earlier. Provoking thought, why would an evil sibling be good for Shang's story? An evil sibling would provide Shanks with a compelling storyline in the final saga. Shanks' background as a former celestial dragon raised by Roger contrasts with a potential sibling raised by the celestial dragons. This dichotomy would explore themes of nature versus nurture and good versus evil, enriching Shanks' character arc. It would give Shanks a personal stake in the war against the celestial dragons beyond his expected confrontation with Blackbeard. Conclusion could Shang's story culminate in a family showdown? An evil sibling storyline would not only deepen Shang's narrative, but also align with One Piece's themes of familial conflict and personal growth. Shang's role in the story is too significant to be limited to a simple mentor figure. A confrontation with a god's knight brother would provide the emotional and thematic weight needed for a character of his stature. This potential storyline opens up new avenues for exploration in the final saga of One Piece making it a theory worth considering.